All right. Welcome in. If you check in with your nickname and what you had for breakfast, you might just get a song, song just for, for you. Orlando says she eats after her workout. Very good. Oh, we're in Queen Creek, Arizona. I love it. Yeah, Jacob's in the house. Welcome. Hey, Jacob, how's the YouTube uh, feed? Is it good? Can you see me? Can you hear me? Are there any blips? I want to make sure we've got clarity. Yes, meaning thumbs up. All things are good. Love it. All right. Go tell your friends, folks. Nine o'clock. We'll start in about three minutes. But please uh, remind some of your buddies and your friends to come join us today for an epic workout. March 30th, Monday. Chasey Bug. So YouTube is going good. Um, uh, uh, YouTube's going good. Mr. Angel and Green Monster. Mr. Angel and Green Monster. My mom and dad, they all had yummy breakfast. The Schlomers are watching in Palos Verdes. Welcome. Kid Yo-Yo in the house. Isla is going to do this tomorrow. I love it. Awesome. By the way, if you can go invite somebody right now to come join our class, I will do uh, 50 jumping jacks with a big box on my head. That's right. If you can go invite somebody right now, I'll do um, 50 jumping jacks with this box on my head. That's right. That's the deal. So, Lou Ellen can't get YouTube live on her TV. Hmm, Llewellyn, I don't know. What's going on? Everybody else all right? We had one issue with YouTube this morning, but seems to be going good. Awesome. Anybody else invited some people? Puppy Pro is in the house. Tracy, how's the feed? Everybody said it was good, but I, uh, I rebooted just in case. Ryman in the house. Puppy Pro. Love it. Welcome. All right, Llewellyn got it. Good. Looking good now. Very good. I rebooted. YouTube is working fine for the uh, Schlomers. I love it. Race Car Master and all the toys had apples and peanut butter. I love it. Barrio San Anton, Puerto Rico was the home of my grandpa's lifelong hero. So his nickname was Sweetness. Clemente was his name. Roberto, you're my hero. You used a lemon for a ball, a stick for a bat. You showed respect for your mom. Work Todd for dead. You're my hero. Just start dancing in your living room. Start dancing. Yeah. Who else is checking in? The Fords are in the house from Visalia. Boston had scrambled eggs and avocados. Yes. So, as I mentioned, if you uh, go invite somebody and get these numbers up here to class, I will do 50 jumping jacks with a big box on my head. That is the dealio. So please go invite, send an email, post on Facebook, uh, let them know to come to Coach Ball Game. Outfit style today, just a tucked in shirt. That's all. Just a tucked in shirt. Pancakes again for Puppy Pro. I love it. All right, kids, start marching. Start marching. We've got some new fun stuff planned for today, so let's get after it. Start marching.
And right here, right here, we've checked in, nicknames, breakfast, and we're just right here for about 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Start breathing in through your nose, slowly out your mouth. Give it one of these right here. While you're moving those feet up and down, right there, that's it. That's it. March, 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 march. We're going to make the best of it. We're going to have positive vibes. I know my peeps in North Carolina uh, have been quarantined from the governor, a lot of others as well, but we're here. What can we still do even though we're quarantined? Well, we can move our bodies and we can go to the store. And we can dance. And we can play music. We can laugh. We can do a lot of good things. Outstanding stronghold in the house. Love it. All right, three claps. One, two, three. Arms high. Show off the armpits and sniff the armpits. That's right. What do they smell like? Type it in there, folks. I need to know what they smell like. Then touch your toes. Don't pick your nose. Spread out wide. Sniff your left kneecap. Tell me what it smells like. Every single morning, we should sniff our armpits and our kneecaps just for good measure. And switch. Sniff that right kneecap. Very good. And side to side. This is kind of like a dance move. I do this a lot at weddings. I get on the dance floor and I get right into this position. And I just do this. Even during the ceremony. Yes. Gets a little weird. But it's all about exploring the space. It's time to pick strawberries. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three, clap. 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 On your behonkus. Butterflies. We're doing our butterflies today. Welcome in. And we're going quickly today on a Monday morning. Make a V. Touch your left phalange. We got a lot to do today. We've added some new things. I got up at five o'clock today. <clears throat> I wanted to find some new stuff. Switch. Touch the right phalange. We got some of the old stuff. I hope you got your notebook. We're going to still do our hand-eye coordination. Both phalanges. But we got some new stuff as well. Oh, yes, that's it. Modeling pose. If your back pops, say, oh, my lanta. Oh, my lanta. So I need you to type, yes, I invited somebody. If you just invited somebody to come join us today. If I get enough of those, I'm going to do 50 jumping jacks with a big box on my head. Hug that knee into the chest. Tell that knee you love it. I love you, knee. Oh, yes. Even though you smell like uh, whipped cream. Hmm. Switch. Oh, yeah. Oh, my Lanta. Back pop. And hug that one in. Downward facing dog. Cobra. Upward facing dog. Half moon. Half moon. Ah! Half moon and switch. Half moon and up to the foot, up to the foot, up to the footsies. Run in place, the hustle salute and freeze faster. Freeze faster. Freeze. Look to your left, look to your right, look forward. Uncomfortable eye contact with me. 12 seconds. Start smiling. I've got a few invites. A few people have been inviting people. That might mean I got to wear a box on my head. And three claps. One, two, three. Arm circles. Start small. A little bigger. Real big. And backwards. Real big. Shake your foot out. Shake it. Shake it like there's this sticky peanut butter on your toe and you got to get it off. And the other one. Get that peanut butter off. Sticky. Yikes, twist, twist the trunk. Had an extra half cup of coffee today, so watch out folks. Hug yourself. 
and Flamingo. Flamingo stretch. Today, three Pacific, six Eastern. I'm taking over the Easton Baseball Instagram handle. Me, MLB Network's very own Chris Rose. We're going to have a trivia contest. Please join us. Switch. I posted a flyer on my Instagram and my Facebook. Invite everybody you know. The winners are going to get some epic prizes. And three claps. One, two, three. Soggy spaghetti and tangy sauce are in the house. I'm going to take all 40 of your word for it that you invited somebody to join us today. So I've got to do my 50 jumping jacks with a box on my head. Do the jumping jacks with me, kids. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six. 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Deep breath in through the nose. Slowly out the mouth. Two minutes of jogging starts now. Two minutes. Penguin and Pickle are in the house. Two minutes of running, boys. It's tasty coffee, Llewellyn. Very tasty. All right, stay as long as you can, soggy spaghetti and tangy sauce. Watch the playback later on YouTube if you have to. I see the numbers are going up a little bit. That means you kept your word. 70 seconds remaining. seconds remaining. My sister-in-law informed me that those shakers sounded a little weird right here. Thank you. Sorry about that. It's all learning experience. 20 seconds to go. Keep running. This is how you get loose. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Very good. Very good. 10 seconds. We're 10 seconds away from our letter to baseball. Five, four, three, two, Stop, water break, team meeting pose. If this is your first class, welcome to the best day of your life. Team meeting pose, just like this. Be honk us up nice and high, shoulders back, shirt tucked, uncomfortable eye contact. Drink that water, you should be breathing a little bit heavily, arms up high, deep breath in through the nose. Slowly out the mouth. I've got two letters to baseball today. Dear baseball, you're my favorite sport and I miss you so much. I am always fielding ground balls in my backyard. Baseball is my favorite thing to do. I don't know what to do now because you're postponed. I also miss watching pro ball. When I am on the field, I get really happy. I can't wait until you come back. That's from Carter. Let's give Carter an attaboy. One, two, three. Attaboy, Carter. And letter number two. Dear baseball, I miss you so much. I miss the baseball diamond. I miss the batter's box. I miss the baseball pitching rubber. I miss the yummy snack shack. I miss being part of a team. I miss playing baseball games. From Aiden. Let's give Aiden an attaboy. One, two, three. 
attaboy. Let's try that again and kind of karate kick your leg when you say attaboy. One, two, three, attaboy. Now let's do it one more time, but let's see if we can do two karate kicks at the same time. One, two, three, attaboy. Attaboy. Now, if there's any girls in the room, give them an atta girl. Atta girl. That's another one of my favorite dance moves I do at weddings. Okay. Now, the the new things that we uh, we have implemented today, uh, I call it the challenge. We're going to challenge ourselves to one minute of how long we can sit in the dance on a toilet position. All right, just like this. How long can you sit right here and dance on that toilet? Ready? Go! Sumo, sumo, dance, dance. Everybody dance on a toilet. Hey! And hold imaginary pizzas in your hand. Think good thoughts, folks. If you're just joining us, I'm Coach Ballgame. Welcome to the best day of your life. We're going to try to stay here for at least 60 seconds. Ooh, starting to burn. Good thing my shirt's tucked in. Good thing I had a, a good breakfast. <sighs> stay there. Dance on that toilet if you need to. Yeah. Any parents out there doing this as well? It's a great workout. Get the bee honkus down. Good posture. Imagine you're a kangaroo. What's in the pouch? A baby. You don't want the baby falling out of the pouch. Who can type into me? Tell me, where are kangaroos prevalent? Where do kangaroos live? Stop. Shake it out like you got some sticky peanut butter on your toes. Stick it. Sticky peanut butter, shake it. Awesome. Next one is the plank challenge. All right, we're going to get our core going here. See if you can stay for 60 seconds. If you can't stay the full 60, then give it your best go. The plank is when you're here with your elbows on the ground and your back straight. On your marks, get set, go. Don't forget to check in with your nickname and what you had for breakfast. Whew. Breathe, don't forget to breathe. You should really feel it in your core, in your stomach muscles, the plank. When I was in college, I did a ton of stomach workouts because this is where you get all the power. It's where you hit all those home runs is with your stomach. If you need to take a break, just put your knees on the ground like that. If you can keep going for the full 60, challenge yourself. 15 seconds remaining. Hang in there, folks. Eight seconds remaining. And stop. Very nice. Give yourselves a round of applause. That is not easy. Give yourselves an eye black salute, mustache salute, beard salute, mullet salute, Brad Pitt salute, bicep. Double bicep, triple bicep, quadruple bicep, bounce back, scholar, bravery, leadership, and my favorite, sportsmanship salute. Very nice. This next one, how many jumping jacks can you do in 60 seconds? You just saw me do uh, 50 with a box on my head. I'm going to do it again just to inspire you. On your marks, get set. Jumping jacks. One, two, three, you can do it. <laughs> Stay with it. 30 seconds down, 30 to go. Thanks. My daughter just said I'm doing a good job up there. Appreciate it there. Keep doing those jumping jacks. 20 seconds to go. If you're just too tired, then you can take a break. Come on now. Come on now. This is the challenge. Stay on your toes.
Keep your head still. Five, four, three, two. Pause. Get some water. Get some water. I love it. My son is doing this while I'm at work. His nickname is Dinger. He had Reese's Puffs for breakfast. Mustache salute for you. Now, sometimes I'll give the cereal bowl salute uh, where you, you eat an imaginary bowl of cereal. What do we do when we're done with the cereal ball players? We wash the bowl out. What do we do after we wash the bowl out? We dry it. What do we do after we dry the bowl? We open the cupboard and we put it back in. Sportsmanship salute. All right. You should be breathing a little bit. Your heart rate's up. You can do this. This next one's called the burpee or the sprawl. And we're going to go 60 seconds where you jump up and then you go down and put your feet out like this. And then you're up and you jump. Then you go down and back into a push-up position. And we're going to go for 60 seconds. Go as long as you can on your marks. Get set. Go. Jump. Chest to the ground. Jump. Chest to the ground. Maybe you can only do 10 of these. Maybe only five. Do as many as you can. Just do as best you can. Work as hard as you can. I'm getting tired, but my favorite coach, Coach Serrato in college, he taught me the best lesson I ever learned, and he didn't say a word. I asked him for extra BP, extra batting practice, every day before practice would start. He showed up every day, didn't get paid, uh, but the best message was from him, uh, actions speak louder than words. And stop. <sighs> Drink some water. Speedy did 100. Nolan Ryan Jr. had hot chocolate for breakfast. Oh, burpees are no fun whatsoever. All right. We've got one last one. All right. On the challenge. And it's called the toe touch. It's a sit-up where your hands touch the ground and then your hands come up and touch your toes. On your marks, get set, go. Sit up to touch the toes. Hands come back down to the ground. 60 seconds. So what my coach said was nothing. He didn't say anything. He just did it. He showed me by his actions uh, what good coaching is. Actions speak louder than words. So I'm doing this workout with you. I don't want to just tell you what to do. I want to show you. I want to feel your pain right now. Let's say that together. Actions speak louder than words. Good stuff. 20 seconds remaining. Hang in there, folks. We should be sweating. And five, four, get that last one in if you can, and stop. Very good. Get some water, and then get into a team meeting pose, folks. Go, 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 go. Get that water and get into a team meeting pose. Very nice. So it's on to our skills. Okay. And I'm going to give you a nice two minute breather here to really drink some water and chill out. But in your notebooks last week, we started some columns. The first one was high five the sky. You want to toss the ball up in the air and meet, squeeze, and freeze. The second one is the wall drill. Toss the ball against the wall. Whoops. Let me try that again. Toss the ball against the wall and meet, squeeze, and freeze. No cups of soup. The third one was the alligator. Right? Field the ground ball with your alligator smack. The fourth one 
is soccer juggling. Where you take the soccer ball and you juggle it with everything but your hands and see how many you can do in 60 seconds without the ball hitting the ground. The fifth one, figure eight, through the legs. Number six is the hula hoop. And number seven is a kitchen spoon and a balled up piece of paper or a sock, the ping pong. So go ahead and get your notebooks, get your pens, and get the balls that you need there. And we're going to start with High Five the Sky. It's a brand new week, and I think all of our numbers are going to be shooting up. I think we're going to be going upwards. We should be trending. So in your notebooks, let's write the date. Monday, March 30. And column number one is high five the sky. And let's go 60 seconds. On your marks. Get set. Go. Parents, if you could comment with what they're using. Are they using a tennis ball? Are they going bare hand or do they have a glove? Are they using a balled up sock? Meat squeeze and freeze. High five the sky. This is called a cup of soup. It doesn't count. High five the sky. There you go. 30 seconds remaining. How many can you get? We're going to improve on last week's number. All of these skills we do, they work our hand-eye coordination. And they're things we can do by ourselves during the quarantine in our house. If you're just joining us, we've been stretching, we've been running, we've been working out, and now we're on our skills. You got 15 seconds. Toss it up in the air and then high five the sky. Five, four, three, two, and stop. All right, write that number down. Column number one, high five the sky. Write it down. And let me know how many you did. Pickle is using a mini soccer ball and Penguin is using a handball. Orlando got 17. I love it. Jacob got 12. Love it. The next one is the wall drill. If you don't have a wall, then you're just going to bounce the ball on the ground and try to catch it like that, kind of like a basketball. But if you got the wall on your marks, get set, go. Meet it, squeeze it. Meet it, squeeze it. Meet it, squeeze it. But don't forget to freeze it. Meet it, squeeze it. Hey, meet it, squeeze it. How meet it, squeeze it. Yes, but don't forget to freeze it. 20 seconds down. I'll give you a little music. seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bang. Write that number down. That's column two. That is wall drill. Wow. The Knapp family got 103 high fives. Pickle got 80. I love it. Jake the Snake with 54. Super Henry using a mini basketball. Ryman got 91. Boston. If you have a partner you can roll it back and forth with, do that. Be honk us down. Glove dirty. Smack the alligator. Go! How many alligators in 60 seconds? Move the feet. Shuffle the feet to get in front of the ball like a mongoose. Like a mongoose that's got real, real quick toes and they're stepping on fire. Ooh, those feet are on fire. Alligator. Alligator. Come, baby. That's it. That's it. That's it.
20 seconds remaining. Mr. Angel got 14. Way to go. Coach T run in the house. We're doing our alligators. Aiden had 40 wall throws. Wow. Is that Mr. Met? Is that Met Boy with 125? What's that nickname? Way to go, Ryman. Five, four, three, two, stop. Write that one down. That's column number three. That's the alligator. Then, if you've got some sort of soccer ball, perfect. If you don't have that, use a balled up sock. Balled up sock. And we're juggling. How many times can you juggle with your knees or your feet or your head or your chest? You just can't use your hands. On your marks, get set, go. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Seven, eight. Oh. Thirty seconds down, thirty seconds to go. Ten seconds. Five seconds. And stop. Very good. Write that one down. That's column number four. That's soccer juggling. Column number five is the figure eight. The figure eight. And once again, I'm going to do this with a box on my head. How many in 60 seconds? On your marks, get set, go. Get the bee honkus down. Stay low to the ground. How many can you get? Yeah. Dance on that toilet, folks. Figure eight. You can do it. Clap, 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 clap. You can do it. Clap, 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 clap. Keep going. 20 seconds remaining. If you're just chilling out on the couch, maybe you're tired, then you can cheer on the teammates that are trying to do this by saying like, hey, you're awesome. You can do it. Great socks. Love how your shirt's tucked in. You're really trying hard. Add a boy. Add a girl. Wow. Epic. Will you be my best friend? Five, four, three, two, stop. Write that number down. That is number five. Now, column number six is our hula hoop. Column number six is our hula hoop. We take the ball around our waist like this. How many in 60 seconds? Ready, go. All right, good job, Orlando with 31. Good job, Jake the Snake. 41 alligators for Adam, 29 for Cooper. Way to go, Moss family. Ryman, Mr. Angel, Nala in the house, Boston, Boston, doing a great job. Hula hoop it around 66. Way to go. I see the numbers. If you're just joining us, tune in to the Easton Baseball Instagram handle today, 3 p.m. Pacific time, 6 Eastern. Me and MLB Network's very own Chris Rose. We're going to do a trivia contest. The winner gets some epic prizes. 18 seconds remaining. Whoops. Hula hoop it. Definitely works better if your shirt's tucked in. That's it. We're working hard today. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and stop. Very nice. Very nice. That is column number six, and that is the hula hoop. Write down your numbers in your notebook. And I've got one last one. One last one. Column number seven. And it's called the ping pong drill. Wooden spoon, 
balled up piece of paper. I'll give you a moment to go get that if you need it. But every single morning, folks, these are the materials we need because we're going to try to get better every single day. 57, 100, 70. Way to go. Ryman in the house. Keep on going. So the hot potato ping pong drill is this. You're using your hands and your eyes to coordinate. Hand-eye coordination just means your eyes and your hands are becoming best friends with each other. All right. Hopefully you've got those materials ready. On your marks, get set, go. Ping pong drill. If you have an actual ping pong paddle and a ping pong ball, even better. Why is Cody Bellinger such a good hitter? Why is Justin Turner and Mike Trout such a good hitter? Hand-eye coordination, right? They see the ball, they watch it, they track it, and they, they hit it. All right? They don't just swing their bat. They actually hit a ball, right? Why is, uh, why is Messi such a good soccer player? Because his feet and his eyes are working together. Feet and eyes. Oh, yeah. That's it. That's it. Ten seconds remaining on the ping pong drill. Stay with it, folks. Five, four, three, two. Awesome. Very good. Put that number down. That's column number seven. Nolan Ryan Jr. Hey, yeah, Chris Rose is awesome. I hope you can join in. That's right. That's right. Now. I just want to run down the seven columns that you should have. Uh, you had your high five the sky, wall drill, alligator, soccer juggling, figure eight, hula hoop, and ping pong. Those are the seven columns. If you can hear a loud sound, my neighbor has a didgeridoo and is playing it very loudly, I think. Ooh, we had 40, 22. Nice. Very good. Very good. Okay. So you need your bases now. You need your bases or your four cones for our four stations. I'm using these orange cones. I got number one right here. I got cone number two right here. Second base right here. And third base right here. All right. So go ahead and start running in place at home plate, folks. Start running in place. Today in our circuit training, we've got touch the ground and jump, crazy dance, hopscotch, and then act like an animal. So I'll show you here, and we'll do these four times through. When you get to first base, spread your feet out a little bit wide, touch the ground, and then jump. And you'll do 10 of those. Touch the ground, jump. When you get to second base, you're going to do a crazy dance. Crazy. I mean, wild. Really wild. Whoa, 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 wow. Karate, whatever. 10 seconds. Do it for 10 seconds. Get crazy. Oh, yeah. Jump. Whip. Whatever. Third base. Hopscotch. You're here and then you're there. You're here and then you're there. You're here and then you're there. You're both feet, one foot. Both feet, one foot. For 10 seconds. Then at home plate, act like your favorite animal. Rawr. Roar! That's an armadillo who's really mad at a mongoose. Okay? Four times through. Parents, please tell me um, what kind of crazy dancing is going on and what animals are uh, being portrayed. Go! First base. Touch the ground and jump. 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 Ten of these. At second base, crazy dance. Yow, like you got ants in your pants or bumblebees in your in your shorts. At third base, hopscotch. Both feet, one foot. Both feet, one foot. Boop. Boop. 
pop, 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 pop. And at home. Meow. 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 That was a frog trying to act like a kitty cat. All right, so you've got four times around, folks. And I'll give some shout outs. Pickle flossed and acted like a pickle. Monster Truck is uh, doing the walk like an Egyptian dance. Wow. Monster Truck is a tiger. I love it. Heather is a dog. Aiden is pretending to be a scorpion and Cooper is a hedgehog. What else? Penguins acting like a penguin. I got that one right. Very good. A lion and a blobfish from Orlando. Love it. Nolan Ryan Jr., the orange justice dance and acting like a kitty cat. Can't go wrong with those two. It's a good combination. That's it. Just four times through. We're almost done with our class today. You should be sweating. I'm sweating. No doubt about it. What other shout outs can I give you? Very good. And then let me know when you're done. When you've done that four times. Monster truck is a, uh, a chicken doing a chicken dance. Type done when you're done, but also give me those dances you've been doing. Love it. First base. Touch the ground and jump. Touch the ground and jump. Touch the ground and jump. Second base is the crazy dance. I love it. Somebody was a snake. I love it. Capri. That's Orlando. We're done. Somebody's boxing. Ryman is done being a cow. Love it. All right, get some water when you finish and you can get in your team meeting pose. Team meeting pose. All right, folks. It's that time of the day. We do it every day. Two minutes of what a ball player does activity. Clean up the breakfast table, go make your bed, ask the parents what you could do for them. But this is what a ball player does activity time. Go. Let me know what activity you're doing. Thirty seconds down, ninety seconds to go. Jacob's making his bed. At a boy, Jacob. Let me know what activity you are doing. The what a ball player does activity. Fifty seconds to go. Monster Truck is making his bed. Way to go. What other ball player activities? Pickle just cleaned his room. Outstanding. Anybody cleaning the toilets? Anybody changing their little brother or sister's dirty diaper? So, uh... My man Nolan Ryan Jr. said Chris Rose is awesome, and uh, we were supposed to see him next week at the BattleBots taping, um, but they had to shut it down because of the virus. Um, but I'm going to be on Instagram Live with him this afternoon, 3 o'clock Pacific time. We're going to have a trivia contest. 
Orlando hugged mom and picked up the toys. Nolan Ryan Jr. hugs mom and sister and cleaned up his Legos. And stop. Very good, guys. Very good team meeting pose. Team meeting pose. If you're just joining us, wow, we had quite the workout. You can see the playback on my YouTube channel. Uh, but we did our two-minute jog. We read our letters to baseball for the day. We did our stretches, our salutes, um, body squats, the plank, jumping jacks. We did a lot of great stuff. And then we worked on our skills. Um, I want to give you one baseball skill to work on. This is a sunflower seed. Some of you may know how to uh, chew a sunflower seed. Raise your hand if you do. Awesome. But you take the shell and you crack it open and then you transfer it to the front of your mouth and you scoop out the seed. There's a seed inside and you spit the shell out and you eat the seed. Well, I want to give you a little trick you can do in your backyard where you're chewing seeds and you're working on your hitting. So you crack the shell and this is the shell right here. You're going to spit the shell up into the air and try and hit it. Just like that. Here's the other side of the shell. Ooh, I missed. <coughs> but that's how you work on your hand-eye coordination. And we call it the sunflower seed batting practice. Now, Avery Jean, are you here for the, the closing announcement? Uh, baby ball game's coming to close us out today with a little bit of science. Uh, she did a science project yesterday, and she wants to share it with you. But uh, awesome job today. Please tell everybody about this class. We'd love to keep those numbers rolling upwards. Uh, keep the numbers going up. Um, but I'll close with this. 3 p.m. today on the Easton Baseball Handle Instagram. Tune in. You'll see me and Chris Rose uh, asking trivia questions. And if you answer more right than anybody else, you get some prizes, some epic prizes. One from John Boy. Those guys are awesome. And one from me as well. Um, baby ball game, you ready? She's coming. I'll also say this. We've got a contest going. It's called the Joe Buck Contest. My pal Joe Buck is going to announce the winner of this contest. If you guys um, are interested in broadcasting, I want you to send in a 30-second video of you broadcasting something in real life. Um, get your slime, remember? So let's say, uh, I'll give you an example. Here's my microphone. Um, okay, folks, welcome to the backyard of Coach Ball Game. You can see Norman the Sloth and uh, the Monkey George there. They've been sitting still for an entire hour. Uh, we also have a, a conga drum and a, um, a box that Coach Ball Game's been wearing on his head. Now Mrs. Ball Game shows up, uh, baby ball game, I mean, and blah, 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 blah. So that's the deal. Send it in uh, to me. You can email me or you can uh, tag me on it. But that's the Joe Buck contest. And he's going to pick the winner and he's going to tweet it out on his Twitter. Awesome. All right, baby ball game. What do you got there? Uh, I got Starburst slime. Okay. So explain to us, how did you make that? Um, I, um, I just put Starburst in the um, oven. Then you had to put some flour and some other uh one other stuff and mix it in your slime and then that's how you make it. So she mixed Starburst <laughs> with flour and put it in the microwave and then you can play with it because it's slime. And you can eat it when it dries out. And you can eat it when it dries out. Let's give her a scholar salute and an atta girl. One, two, three. Atta girl. Very good, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Um, and we'll see you tomorrow morning, nine o'clock. Spread the word about class.